Hey, what's up guys? Today is July 3rd, 2018. A couple of days after Canada Day. Oh, look, I see a uh, fire truck. To, uh, God, I've been out in the sun too much this morning already. I have to take a break. That's the pumper from uh, station uh, 20. Coming back there. Probably from our first response call, first responders. But as much as it's way too hot, once again, you can see it by that lady walking with that umbrella, that uh, it really is too hot to be out uh, walking a long time today. You gotta drink a shitload of water, but the lighting is beautiful here this morning. Uh, it's probably about 10 something, and I figured why not do a little walk here on uh, La Rue saint Urbain, or as we call it in English, St. Urban Street. Look at this beautiful old building here. It's Tuesday, and look, even the alley here has a name. It's uh, Isaac, or is it a street? Yeah, Isaac Alley, like Isaac Hayes, like Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, just beautiful lighting. I'm just gonna take it slow here, or try to, because that's not really my thing to take it slow. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, <clears throat> we hit a high of 36 degrees Celsius, man, okay? Uh, Fahrenheit, that's like uh, fucking, uh, that's the Lego Chatier Street. China, we're in Chinatown, by the way. Lots of great restaurants for uh, fine dining there, or affordable dining. Some of them aren't too good, though. And uh, anyway, yeah, yesterday, so I look at the accurate weather, I always check the radar, like when it's like this, when the air is unstable and there's a chance of, se of severe weather. So they were showing the locations, the temperatures for other locations in the States. You know, it's an American site. <clears throat> so like I said, it was 36 here. Wow. And uh, in Miami at the same time, it was 31. Miami, for Christ's sake. Five degrees hotter here than in Miami. And how far is Miami? Like what? Uh, fucking 2,000 miles away? I don't know. You know? Livre la maison King uh, Kim Fong. Nice building like that, must be pretty good, I guess. I reckon. What I'm gonna do is when I get to Rene Levesque Boulevard there over there, I'm gonna take a break because there's a lot of action there, trucks and emergency vehicles responding and whatnot. And I'm gonna take a break, take it slow, and then I'll continue on northward. That's what I gotta do because earlier I went, see the Port of Montreal is down that way, right? Which is the tourist hub of the city. Uh, and I was hoping to get CN Train 149, but I never saw even the engine, so I don't know, maybe they changed the schedule. Maybe it had passed already, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining. So, I don't know. Acupuncture, there's me. Hello! Hello, everybody. Yeah. Oh, that police car over there reminds me about how, like, I had sort of a run-in with the... No, not sort of, I had a little run-in with the law yesterday. See, I was filming this uh, locomotive going solo on the CN line in St. Henry. I was on Notre Dame, and when I panned over to look at the signals this way, there was this woman, this young girl, whatever, black, walking the other way. I had her back with to me. And what happened was that... Why is that cop sitting there like that? It's fucking strange. Anyway, so these cops... They do a, they turn around on the street, they come talk to me, and they're all nice and everything, you know, they're young, right? They haven't been corrupted yet, so to speak. And uh, this is Rene Levesque Boulevard, by the way. And uh, yeah, so anyway. Oh yeah. I see it, I see it. These are a dime a dozen here. I think there's more of these now in Montreal than there used to be. Oh, they all come from out west or the south or whatever. What the fuck is this thing? What is this thing? Anyway, so a scrap, hybrid scrap, overpriced junk, Nova junk. I don't care if it fucking runs on peanut oil or fucking garbage. Anyway, what was I saying? So anyway, so the cops are uh, I'm telling them what I'm doing and that I didn't really film the chick intentionally. I was checking the railroad signals and I'm a train fan and all that. and. Uh, so the guy checked my camera, but you know, whatever. I told him, I was like, hey, you know, you're doing your job and all that shit, so. Not, not too big of a deal. It didn't bother me really too much. Looking up here on uh, St. Germain. Yeah, you see the lens is shaking? It's because there's too much dust in the camera there, and I'm gonna have to get it cleaned again. 
How much is that gonna cost me? I'm not happy with that. Not happy with that at all, Mike on you fucking guys, you. So therefore, I don't recommend this fucking uh, Coolpix A900 for anybody who's uh, a serious YouTuber like me. God damn, my Nikon D3100 had a real lens, a real detachable metal lens, and it never got any dust practically in there, you know? Boy, yeah, this intense heat really kills you, let me tell you, because I walked about a half, probably more than half an hour when I was in the old port there, like I was saying, and holy shit, man, I was, it was, I was just, you know, you're on the verge of a heat stroke when you just feel like dizzy and really tired, nauseous, and a bit sick even. This is, by the way, Complex Desjardins. At the bottom of this is a shopping mall, very old shopping mall actually. And uh, I just took a break on uh, Rene Levesque there. That's what I call this street jokingly. Of course it used to be known as Dorchester Boulevard. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to float another block here and then I'm going to take a break at St. Catherine. And that's what I'm going to keep doing because I... Look at this, you see that? Impala, right? Doesn't even fucking look anything like an Impala. But then again, compared to a lot of cars, it's pretty nice. That's fucking nice. I love cars with colors, man. I saw a Porsche 911 Carrera before, like electric blue, like you wouldn't believe it, it was fantastic. Then it occurred to, look at this guy. Then it occurred to me that uh, if you have a hot car like that, it should be a hot color, you know? Not fucking gray and all these colorless cars that you all see everywhere here. Anyway, we'll find our schmana, we'll find our butt. But it's a beautiful morning. New York, man. I see so many plates from New York. It's fucking crazy. Before I was on uh, St. Antoine Street and I saw two cars, both of them had New York plates, both sided next to each other. Maybe they were related, you know? Uh, yeah. There he is. There he is. René Lévesque. I remember when he died. Oddly enough, I remember he was on the radio. A very uh, popular premier of Quebec. Quebec. Le Québec. We oui. charging station for your electric car. The sock. But uh, yeah, it's really uh, it's dangerous weather. It's it, the 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 sight of it is is like in the winter. You know, it's like in the winter when you live here, where it's like minus twenty or colder, and it's just gorgeous when you look out your window. But when you get out there, if you're out there too long, you're not dressed warm enough. You may pay the price. Nice looking bikes. Yeah, that's right, they got their own bus, there's our day for the employees. Yeah, Desjardins, La Banque Desjardins, the Desjardins bike. Not surprising, of course, they have a coach because, you know, hey, a Prevo coach, this is the Cadillac of coaches, you know, it's fucking bank that, that, don't do that. It's not, uh, it's not going to be a school bus that's doing commuter service for its employees. If I can just stay like this in the shade, man, all day, that would be perfect. Look at that, eh? Shagadelic. What the hell is that supposed to be? A continental kit wheel? Come on. Documenting, 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 vlogging. Vlogging! I'm sure that woman behind me is thinking, this guy's a nut. Indeed I am. That is a Harley Davidson Sportster, I believe an ad for one of those. Oddly enough, it was an ad that was in a, a woman's magazine. I think it was in a Chatelaine magazine. It was obviously marketed to women in that ad because there was like three chicks in the ad. You know? So. Hydro Quebec. Uh, no, sorry. Gas Metropolitan. A lot of tourists in town. It's fucking crazy, man. You know, I wouldn't be surprised actually if Montreal's tourism really spiked after 9-11. Because once 9-11 happened, people didn't want to fly as much as they wanted to. And now, with the fucking escalating prices of gas for over 10 years now, the price to, to fly has gotten even higher and higher, man. It's way expensive. Wow, a Mack truck hauling beer. I don't see that too often. Usually, you know, they're internationals and, uh, you know, stuff like that. The cheap freight liners there, the one I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, yeah, and not far from here is where the Jazz Fest is going on, and it's so goddamn hot, I don't even want to go to the Jazz Fest. It's too goddamn hot, and crowds of people, and I'm not, I'm not big on crowds, you know? Uh, oh yeah, here's St. Catherine Street. I had forgotten for some reason that they, uh, yeah, closed this off to, uh, 
to cars, which I don't agree with, but anyway, and also this here. And it's no wonder there's so much fucking traffic and congestion on Saint Kitt, on, on René Lévesque Boulevard, as you saw. But that's the way it is, you know? These fucking cities today, they don't want cars downtown. No, we can't have cars downtown because it's so much pollution. Yeah, well, look at all the fucking traffic it makes everywhere. It's fucking ludicrous. Oh, it looks nice. It's so pretty. You can walk around. There's no car. Listen, man. I don't even, not even a motorist, okay? And I think this is bullshit, okay? I don't care how much, look how much fucking money they spent on this shit. I'm gonna stifle myself at this point because I, I can go on a fucking tangent very easily because I'm part Irish and Quebecois. We are experts at complaining. You don't like what I'm saying? Too fucking bad. Don't worry, go watch something else. Seriously. Okay, now we're coming up to, uh, well, this here right here, this is the uh, Place des Arts. Where there is many shows and think that's one of the reasons why the even the outdoor shows for the jazz fest are out here. But oh, there's that GMC. I like. Even though in reality, it's not a GMC. Actually, it's made by like Mitsubishi. Here's the Popo station. The police. The police. The good old charger. It's funny. Eh? Chrysler's going to continue to make the charger, but uh, Ford is discontinuing. The Taurus. They're fucking idiots. You know that Ford? Seriously? What a bunch of fucking morons. Why would you cut, cut production? You know what the problem with these companies today? Holy shit, look at this. They got a new cruiser with a new livery. Look at this already. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. You guys got the first there. It's like uh, almost an exclusive. Look at that. Two of them. Three of them. Wow. That's a nice surprise. Too bad they're not lit up well, but... Uh, yeah, somebody had noted this right here is fucking stupid actually. Why did they do that, you know? Why did they put SPVM all up there on the roof like that? What, they need people to see that from the fucking uh, ground, and, uh, from a rooftop and say, oh, it's SPVM, you know. <clears throat> anyway. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I go off at a tangent. I'm not the, the, I'm not the happiest person, frankly. I really am not. I, uh, I use this as a, uh, an outlet of way of, you know, uh, you know, it's basically filming, vlogging, whatever you want to call it, filming trains, trucks, whatever, walks, cars, old cars. It's, it's, it sustains me, frankly. Because I am a troubled individual, there's no question about it. Sometimes I think I'm a fucking hair away of just going on the wrong side of life, if you know what I mean. You know? Fuck, I mean, you know, you're like me, you're visually impaired. I'm obsessed with cars and more and I can't even drive any of them legally. But the funny thing is, as some, a couple of people have told me, if I wanted to drive a scooter, well, that would be okay because they don't need a permit for that. I don't want to drive a fucking scooter. I hate scooters. To me, it's like, fuck the scooter, get a motorcycle, get a Harley, get a Kawasaki, get a Honda, whatever. Ah, here we go. The Sydney Spectacular. This is where most of the uh, jazz festival shows go down, and some of them are not even jazz. And, I'm not, I mean, I, and I mean not even close, actually. What are they doing here? Are doing a whole fucking wall here, I guess? Yeah. What? Well, that was a pleasant surprise to see those two cruisers. Wow, I love you. Can't wait to get one of them responding one day. I gotta admit, that livery looks pretty cool. I don't think it was necessary to change it. I mean, you know, I'm a type of guy where it's, I have the expression, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So, uh, yeah. I was thinking earlier when I was in the old port, I'm like, you know, this is the best city probably to be in, a tourist in your own town. Seriously, this town. Uh, I like Heineken. I like it. I don't drink as much as I used to, though. Oh, Christ, it's too hot to be here, though. I said I was going to take a break at St. Catherine. Well, too much for so much for that. I guess maybe I'll just take a break at... Uh, I think I'll just take a break at Sherbrooke if I can, which is uh, coming up here. This is Ontario, I think, or Demizanev. Demizanev, I think. I can't remember. Yeah. So hot. I mean, even last night, I think at like 8:30, 9 o'clock, it was 33 degrees Celsius. You know, it's crazy, crazy. And we just started. And we just started July. You know, look, there's one of the stages there. Huh? Huh? Ah, ah there's that University of Montreal building. I love. It looks like a ship. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Oh my god, a lot of mercy. There's this beautiful church which you can't see really well because of the the red roof, you know? There's La Rue Ontario, which I live uh, not far off of. Of course, it's much further than here, but I live a couple of blocks south of it in Hochelaga. As 
see if I can. Yeah, this fucking zoom, this lens thing really got bothers me. You know how much it cost me to have this thing cleaned? Uh, what is it? Uh, in the winter, a few months ago, February or something. I don't know, March. I think it fucking cost me like. Uh, oh my god, it cost me an arm and a leg. Seriously, I'm gonna call the guy and say, listen, Hugo. Can I do this myself or what can we do work out a deal where like you know it's cheaper somehow I don't know maybe there's something I can do for you give you a plug on my channel or something I don't even think that matters apparently the guy's backlog would, would work anyway so I you know what I would do it myself I'm gonna ask him too I don't know I say listen what's the way to open this camera you know like eh, anyway we'll see over we shall see and now there's this funky building that I like over here yeah I like it I like it. Not this part here, but on this side of Sherbrooke there. It's pretty hip, pretty groovy. There's that church, there's a better view of it. Ugh. Run. Ooh, that's nice. Genesis. I like that. Yeah. It's all this noise. Is that from the air conditioning? God damn, that's noisy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! Da -da 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 -da. Chevy HHR. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Two red cars in a row and a blue car. Oh, I like that. I wish there was more like that. You know? Oh, oh, look, look. Here comes the scrap that I love to hate. Nova Excuse me, when I said that that building down there that looked like a ship was Université de Montréal, that's my mistake. It's the University of UCAN, which is, of course, a very big French university here in Montreal. This is the, the science department, the science. Can you dig it? Look at there, you have these nice homes here with these staircases. They have that eh? New York City uh, look to them, eh? I think. Something like that. They're coming up to Sherbrooke there. You can see all that traffic up there. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost done and the battery just died. I had to change it there. And that's another thing, this fucking heat, man, it really affects this camera. Not just the zoom, but it seems it just gets hotter and hotter easily. It's just it's like what I was talking about uh, yesterday. Like it's like old cars. They just you know, like they don't run the best when they when it's really hot like that. And they'll run, but they get really, really hot, like very easily. And uh, not pleasant to be in. Actually, this morning I saw a 67 Mustang in the old port. That was surprising. Look at the size of this behemoth. Holy shit. Well, that's why I've never seen one of those. It's from Ontario. That's an expedition. Looks brand new. More scrap. What a bike rack. Look at the size of behemoth. This is the same thing as the Navigator. Oh, I like that color. I like that kind of a, what do you call it? Cinnamon brown or whatever. Yeah. There, that's the part of the building I like. Right here, this funkiness with the with the windows. It's very, very odd indeed. But as nice and charming as some of these old ho houses here, I would never fucking live here. You'd have to pay me to live down here. Chaos. If you like chaos, well, it's for you. More scrap. Yeah. Quite the contrast. Hey, look at these very extremely old homes. Probably over 100 years old. And then you got this building here. But I wonder what used to be here. Probably a fucking building they tore down and wasn't fit anymore to live in or something, so I reckon. I'm gonna see if I can stop here somewhere in the shade. And I'm gonna call this, well not call it a day, but it's not gonna be a long day doing this anyway in this heat. But uh There we go man. Oh yeah, and I didn't even show you the Saint Herb Saint Urbain Street sign. Saint Urban Saint Herbs. And there's Sherbrooke. Looking west, looking north again here on uh, Saints at the Bay. There's a nice looking Sterling there. And looking east on Sherbrooke. Anyway, guys, hope you liked it. And like I said, if not, well, you know, whatever. Not for everybody. Take care. Bye bye.